guys welcome back to deep south bayou diesel i am about to install a carrier bearing drop bracket this is from rough country um i thought that the packaging was going to have the instructions on how to install it because as you can see this isn't uh, it's made out of square tubing thick square tubing mind you but it's got a, a drop off so I don't know if it goes on like that or if it goes on like that. Now, common sense tells me it would go on like this. So, um, and don't mind my bumps on my arm and my hand. I was doing some yard work and got into some poison ivy. So, yay. Anyway, so I'm thinking it goes on like this. So as it comes from the transmission, well, as it's coming down, it helps straighten it out. I I guess I don't know like I said there isn't any instructions on the um, paperwork they sent me or online I went on YouTube looking for info and everyone that's done it supposedly does it after the fact so um, I will install this or as I'm installing it, I'll make little videos that I piece here together and make one video but, um, I mean, just like I'm trying to figure this out, someone else is probably going to do it and be like, you know, I wish there were a video that could help me out. Well, that's why I'm going to make this video. So, um, I'm going to get under here, get started, and, uh, we'll go from there. So, bear with me. Alright guys, I'm back. Oh man, I'm in an awkward position here. So... Alright, so the front of the truck is up that way, and I'm at the rear. There's a differential. So I've got it to where the wide part portion of this is towards the front, and the narrowed end is towards the rear. Um, seems like it's dropped too low. I mean, it could just be how I'm looking at it. I am going to take it for a ride, see how it works, and if the vibration is worse or better, of course, I'll let you know. So, bear with me. Alright guys, so, I'm almost to the highway because like I said, on these roads, they're not paved, they're not even, so what you may think is vibration may not even be vibration. So, once I get on this smooth highway, I'll be able to tell. opinion yes it's still there it's just not as bad so I think part of the vibration is the um, fact that the uh, drive shaft was not aligned properly because like I said it's a lot better but I can still I still notice it in one giveaway is that shaking around so but like I said, it's not as bad. Um, I do have the pinion yoke coming in. That'll be here in the next few days. So um, I will install that once I get a, um, uh, once I get the um, seal, I need to replace the pinion seal. as well as the, um, oh, what do you call that thing? Uh, the nut. I try not to reuse parts like that because usually they're TTY, which is torqued to yield. And once they've been torqued, you don't use them anymore. But, and I noticed that my uh, CB is quite active. 
Not today. But get back on your side of the road now. Come on. But yeah, like I said, I'm doing 41, 40. Now, like I can hear it. I can hear that shuddering sound. So, I mean, it's still there. It's just not as bad. But, yeah, I'm going to let that be that. Thanks for watching. Later, Gators.